Welcome, Kathy Williams. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks. Today your road, unfortunately, didn't get through even though you did throw down. We all saw it. What happened? Um, well, I started out really good. I came up toe side um, to start out from the dock with the 270 out. And then uh, as I was coming into my pass, I hit the flat bar again. I was going to backlip it, but I just kind of got hung up on the rail. So I was ended up 50-50 and um, just kind of pushed off the side. I, it was just one of those things. So I just went on with my pass, hand turn, toe side, back row, back row, half cab roll, turn around. Uh, in the turn around, I kind of swung out. I was too far on the inside, so it dropped me. Yeah. And then I ended up getting all this water in my mouth. and. That sucks. That I sucks. I was a started choking. <laughs> so I called them on off. They're laughing at me, and I'm just like, oh, I'm so, I feel so silly. So. Oh, well. But the rest, of the, the rest of the pass went really good. Like, I overall was happy with my run, and the judges apparently didn't think I needed to go through, so I'll just work much harder next time. Yeah, that sucks how that happens. Now, recently you've learned O'Reilly. Now, I know for a fact you've been trying this trick for eight years now, finally. No. Not eight years. You've been trying it for a while. No, what happened was I tried it probably about four years ago and um, just not having any luck and then I blew my knee. So I was out for two seasons, came back last year, tried a couple times, got worked, and then um, when I got invited to the X Games, I'm like, right, I can do this trick. Who else would go to Darren Shapiro? He's a Rayleigh master, you know, and I'm like, dude, you got to teach me Rayleigh. I got a week and a half. Sweet. So I come out, first set, go out there, learn to do the cut, you know, and then um, the one when he said, okay, you're ready, first one, boom, landed. And I was like, okay. So it was it was just a head thing that whole time. It's not that hard, is it? Rayleigh's a head thing, for sure. <laughs> you just got to commit, you know. Oh, well, well, it's good. You've got it now. You've got a big trick in your pass, and uh, that's going to help you a lot in the future, for yeah, sure. Yeah, probably will help me today. <laughs> my own question of why I didn't get through. Actually, I think, well, it was really close between me and Tara. Tara wrote great. Um, but I think if I could have got my Rayleigh in, it would have sealed the deal. Oh, well, how it goes. next time. Yeah. Um, how has your riding been lately? Um, lately, as in the past week, crap. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit <laughs> it's been longer. Crap. We go back a little further. It's been good. It's been like, good? I've had a good year. Um, I stepped it up on the sliders. I think, um, that's where in women's weightboarding is kind of slacked. Yeah. Uh, there are some girls out there um, that are just killing it on the sliders. Uh, they're maybe not out in the competition right now. They're more in the free rides stage, but hopefully we can pull them in because to showcase what girls can do on sliders would be awesome. Yeah. And um, I'm just doing the best that I can, and, and I'm just, you know, we don't get that many competitions, so the girls are not really stepping it up on the sliders because I've seen a lot of these pro girls do really well on sliders and but because you don't have that many comps a lot weighs on it and they just don't want to risk it but for me what do I care <laughs> you know no definitely you have stepped it up in a major way on the sliders and it's good to see that girls are still out there pushing it Dallas has stepped ahead and uh, the more girls that kind of rein her back in and hopefully one day someone might put her back down in the place and and take a new crown. It would be really good to see. Uh, there's definitely um, some up-and-coming girls. You know, due to injury, we're not seeing them, but I can guarantee next year, you know, as long as everyone's healthy, we're going to see some new faces out there, and um, I think will motivate Dallas, because Dallas has been on top for a real long time, and for most people that have been on top, you, you know, you lose interest. Like, I'm sure she's bored off or nut, you know? Come to a contest knowing you're going to win. You know, that's not fun. Yeah. And, uh, and she, but she hates to lose at the same time. Very competitive girl. She's very competitive, and, and you should be. You don't go to a con. I don't come here to lose. You know, I know I'm not going to win, but, you know, people do fall, so as long as I can stick my stuff. Uh, you're talking about these girls that are up and coming. Who are we looking forward to seeing next year? Um, mainly Amber Wing out of Australia. She blew her knee just before this season, and uh, she's hungry. She just started back on the water. She's riding great. Uh, you know, she's landing toe sevens, riding away from them. Not quite. I mean, I've seen her land the toe seven, hand on the hand, pop it, you know, type of deal. But she does whirly. She does Rayleigh. She does Crips, uh, KGBs, you name it. Like, she's up there, and she's hungry. And, 
and she loves a good competition too. Her and Dallas are on the same playing fields. They're both level 10 gymnasts uh, with some water skiing background. Amber has a major water ski background. Her whole family's been in the water ski business, you know, since before she was born. So, you know, she's got a lot of advantage to her. So it'll be good to see these girls out here next year. Um, what happens with you for the next couple of months? It's summer, coming to the end of the season. Yeah. Uh, there's some competitions coming up. I'm still trying to decide what to do. You know, go to Perth and Gravity Games and then the Worlds. Go all the way to the Southern Hemisphere. It's been a really long season. So uh, I've just got to make some decisions as if I want to travel and try and pop two more tournaments out. You know, and there's a Tiger U.S. Open coming up as well. So fly all the way back to the States. But probably what's going to happen, I'll be here for the winter, train in Florida, and then do boat shows for Tyga boats, you know, as you do. Uh, that's how a lot of us pros do, make our money in the wintertime, so to help our sponsors out at all these boat shows. And awesome. That's one thing you've been uh, very good at is helping out your sponsors and doing the work behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. Coaching, on the road clinics, I've seen it over the last few years, and uh, it's good to see you guys still out there and doing that. And uh, I hope next season's a really, really good one for you. Oh, I'm sure it will be. You know, growing the sport, that's the only way we're going to get more women out there, clinics and promoting. Awesome. Good talking to you, Kathy. Nice talking to you.